What's up YouTube and welcome back to another awesome auto vlog. So before I get into today's video, I want to thank everybody who came out and brought their GX's to the Ace Cafe, Toyota, and Lexus meet last week. That meet was an awesome opportunity to see everybody in the Central Florida area's rigs. We had such a good turnout at the event and we by far outnumbered all other Toyota and Lexus models. The GX crew turned out big and we took over the event and it was so awesome to get to talk to everybody and see how everyone modified their rigs. And this was just so cool about these vehicles. Everybody can add their own personality to them and every GX there had a different twist to it. All right, so let's transition to today's video. I'm sure by the title of the video, you already know what we're doing. We're doing a diff breather relocation. Now in the last video, Max was in town and we did some off-roading, but we weren't able to do anything too extreme when we were off-roading because a lot of those areas were flooded. And right now with the fender liners cut from the Goliath off-road bumper, when it rains, I do get a little bit of moisture up in there. And I did have a close call when I was doing some off-roading in a previous video. I actually have some mud that got up in there and there's dried out residual from that. So in that video, I talked about there's two things I want to do. One's a snorkel and the other was a diff breather relocation. So today's video, we're going to be doing that diff breather relocation. And another thing we're going to do, just some maintenance while we're down there working on things, we're going to change out this diff fluid. So this diff breather is more of a preventative maintenance and me just being paranoid. There's a diff breather located on the rear differential. And what it does is it allows the pressure inside of the diff to release. One thing that's bad about the diff breather is its job is to let pressure out, but it also means that things can come in as well. And you may initially be thinking if I get any sort of water on the top of my diff, I'm in trouble. Uh, it's not really the case when you're going through water crossings and you're just getting a quick dip in the water, you're likely not going to have any issues. The main issue for this is, is when you're submerged in water for an extended period of time. I know none of us plan on doing that, but it can be something that happens when you're off-roading. If you get stuck going through a pit of water where there's mud and you can't get out and you need somebody to tell you out, your car is going to be submerged in some of that mud for a while. And if your diff breather is submerged underwater, it's going to slowly start to seep water and dirt and mud or whatever debris are in that water into your differential. And it's going to mix in with your oil and that's not going to be a good thing. So. It's a very easy thing to address. So it's going to be a very easy install and something that you can do at home. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a diff breather and I'll put all of the parts I used in this video in the description below so that you can click on those links and see where I got them. Everything I bought here was from Amazon. So I got the shipping, you know, within two days. So it was great. So what's specific about this differential breather here is this one is not threaded. It actually has a fitting for a hose to fit on it. And that is the second piece of material you need for this modification. This hose will help us relocate the diff breather up to a higher area of the vehicle. And the last thing you'll need is you'll need this threaded union. So this fits the same thread pitch as your diff breather that's factory mounted to the top of your differential. So we're going to unscrew the diff breather from the top of the differential. We'll thread this down in and this will give us a nice fitting to fit this hose over. We'll put a clamp on there put the diff breather on the other side and we'll mount that up somewhere high. I see a lot of people have been mounting it up near the gas cap, so I kind of like that location. All right, so while I'm in there doing a relocation of the diff breather, I'm curious to see, have I had any issues where I got water or mud inside of my diff fluid? And I want to check that out by just flushing the system, draining all the diff fluid out, we'll put new in. So for this, you're going to use this 80W90 gear oil and you're going to need 3.3 quarts of it. So unfortunately, these are one quart each. So you actually need four to get the full 3.3 quart. So you'll have a little, quite a bit of extra in the last quart, but it's what it calls for. So I'm just going with it. The one thing that's a bummer is Valvoline does make a nice squeezable bag and I have some of that diff fluid for my M4. Unfortunately, they didn't have any of the ADW90 at AutoZone when I swung by there to get it. So I got these. I should still be able to squirt this into the differential and just have no issues with that. But what I want to do is drain the fluid, see if it's been compromised. And if it has been compromised, I'll at least have the peace of mind of knowing that at least I'm changing the fluid and I'm relocating that diff breather to another area so that I can prevent it from happening in the future. The last thing you want to make sure you do is I have this nice set of gaskets. These gaskets are for the oil drain plugs on the differential the center transfer case and also on the front differential. So this comes as a nice kit. 
I'll put the link below for this. All right, so let's get started with the install. I'm gonna go drive the GX around and get that diff fluid heated up so it drains a lot better. After that, I'm gonna back the GX up onto some ramps to get some higher clearance for the diff fluid change and also so that we can relocate this diff breather. All right, so before we get started here, I wanna just go ahead and just start putting together the diff breather onto the hose and put a clamp on here so that we're already part of the way there and all we gotta do is just feed the hose down through and then hook this up to where the original diff breather was located. All right, so I got this long hose here, which is probably more than I need, and I can trim some off on the other end. So for this side, we're going to want to put, this uh, hose comes with a bunch of hose clamps. So just gonna go put a pair of pliers on here and just gonna squeeze that hose clamp and put it back on the hose just a little bit there. And then we'll take our new diff breather and we're gonna feed this hose onto that. It's kind of a tight fit. You just gotta work the hose on there the right way and it'll eventually work itself on there. All right, so as you can see, we have a nice snug fit here and the hose is all the way up to right at the edge here of the diff breather. So you just wanna go ahead and we'll move this hose clamp up into place. All right, so we got that worked into place. All right, so with one end of the hose hooked up to our diff breather, we wanna go ahead and install this fitting where the OEM diff breather is on the top of the diff. This will just thread into place and we'll put the hose around this and clamp it. All right, so with the rear tire removed, as you can see, I am sitting comfortably upright underneath the vehicle. So going up on ramps makes this job a whole heck of a lot easier and the little bit of extra effort is totally worth it. Right here is our OEM diff breather. You can see that is on the top driver side of the rear diff. So before we go ahead and do any relocation of the diff breather, let's just go ahead and do the rear diff oil change. So you've got your fill plug up here. This is 24 millimeters and so is this down here. This is the drain plug right here. So the drain plug is the one we're going to want to hit. But you also want to hit this fill plug first to make sure that you can actually fill it. Uh, sometimes these seize up so you want to make sure you get the fill plug off first and then we'll hit the drain plug down here. Drain the diff fluid out and we'll go from there. All right, so the fill plug came out super easy. So now we'll just hit the drain. All right, drain plug feels like it's about to go. Just gonna undo this by hand and make sure you put a pan under here to catch it all. There we go. I'm not sure if you can see this, but let's take a look. This is looking, uh, looks a little bit milky to me. Uh, there's quite a bit of metallic flake in there. So I'm not so happy to see that. Not sure if that is a total disaster scenario, but if you're used to seeing some metal shavings in your diff fluid on the GX specifically, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, kind of curious to see if this is something that's common or if I've got a more serious problem on my hands. All right, so the next step in this process is to uh, take off. It looks like I got quite a bit of metal shavings here on the drain plug itself. So hopefully this isn't a major catastrophic issue, but we're gonna go ahead and just kinda keep going on this. First thing is uh, gotta find the drain plug gasket. All right, so once you have that drain plug and that gasket on there, you wanna seal this up. And you do not wanna use an impact like I did for tightening. You can use it to take off the drain plug, but you do not wanna use that to tighten things down. You wanna use a torque wrench and uh, I'll put the torque spec here on the screen. All right, so all we have left to do is put 3.3 quarts of this gear oil into this fill plug and we're good to go. Alrighty, so just kind of want to show what I'm doing here. As you can see, I have a screwdriver kind of just pushed up 
along the top edge here of the gas tank and this is all like a rubber uh, material that fills in kind of this whole area so it's kind of a nice pliable rubber and so I noticed a bunch of guys just feeding this through uh, here and they get to have their diff breather uh, kind of hidden away in their gas cap area so I'm just going to feed the rest of this hose down in through there alrighty so there we go got our diff breather located up here in the gas cap this is a nice area to put it uh, totally out of the way door will close just fine uh, so let's just go underneath and we'll find where this hose has been fed through we'll dig it out from underneath and we'll hook it up to the valve on top of the diff to give kind of a frame of reference here's the diff and over here is the driver's side rear tire and this is the uh, fender liner right here see the hose is hanging out up there so it didn't fall all the way down but that's where the hose is going to come out and so you just want to reach up there and pull that hose down and kind of route it in an area up through here where it's not going to get pinched all right so if you can see kind of just routed it the hose up you know up over the chassis here and then there's some other hoses up through here so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it looks like give a little bit of extra slack there and then just trim the hose down here where you need it all right like that tie that up around there and around this down over the top so it's a 14 millimeter and you just want to hit this Take this off actually you know before you do any of this there's a whole lot of crud in there around there that i do not want getting into my differential so i'm just gonna go grab a rag and clean everything around here so we don't have junk falling into our diff from the top here all righty once we get loose enough you can Gonna reach up here and get it by hand. All right, so next we take this joint and we're gonna put it in that same spot where the original diff breather was. All right, so once you have that threaded in, you just wanna tighten it up. And this is a 12 millimeter on here. All right, so before you put the hose on the other end, you just wanna put this hose clamp on the hose so it's already there and once you work it on then you can slide that down as you can see the clamp is up over uh, you got to push it down over this top nub that's up here and once you get down over that then you can just kind of let go and it applies pressure around this upper edge and you get a nice tight seal and that's pretty much it we have the diff breather relocated all right so there we have it with the diff breather relocation and also changing the diff fluid on the gx470 that was a very easy job if you have any questions about anything i did during today's video leave a comment down below and let me know any of those questions you may have so total install time it took me about an hour to do everything between the diff fluid change and also routing that hose and re relocating that diff breather if you like today's video hit that thumbs up button down below so that know that you like today's content. If you're not already an Awesome Auto subscriber and you like GX470 content, hit that subscribe button down below. Not only does it get you updated every time I upload new videos, but it also gets you entered into a monthly Awesome Auto t-shirt giveaway. Additionally, I look at the YouTube statistics and I see that only 20% of people who watch my videos regularly actually hit the subscribe button. So if you could do me a huge favor and if you find any of these videos helpful to you, please hit that subscribe button down below. It helps support the channel and it helps me to bring you more videos like this one here today. I wanna to thank everybody again who came out to the Awesome Moto t-shirt giveaway that was at Ace Cafe Orlando last week. I had a blast meeting all of you and I look forward to the next event. All right, well, I'm gonna end things here. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.